this video, I'm going to go over how to add marks to your Pebble Watch app so that you can use the navigation features. There are four different ways to add navigation points in the Pebble Watch app. The first method is to drop a mark. This is where you push a button on the watch when you sail near your race mark. The second way is automatic mark detection. When you are racing, the app detects when you round the windward and leeward marks. The first and second methods are designed for buoy racing using temporary marks. With that in mind, all dropped and automatically generated marks expire and disappear at midnight local time. Leeward marks. Or you can choose to upload permanent marks in two different ways. Either using the Race Cues Mark Upload, where you export marks from a replay, or a GPX file upload, which is something for people familiar with GPX files. So I'm going to explain these in more detail, starting with the first method, which is to virtually drop a mark while you are sailing. So the way this works is you sail to the mark, and on your watch, go to the Navigate To screen. You can find this from the main menu, or if you are already sailing, you can take a shortcut by pushing the select button from your race dashboard screen. Make sure the ping new mark option is highlighted and when you sail near your mark, press the select button. This tells the watch to ping your GPS location and record your position as a mark. This mark will show up as a new numbered entry in your watch, 001, 002, etc. So now you know how to add marks by pinging them when you're actually sailing by pushing a button on your watch. The second way to get marks into your watch app is automatic race mark detection. This method uses a proprietary algorithm from race cues that automatically detects when you round a race mark. Automatic marks are really useful for buoy races when you don't know where the marks will be. In order for this to work, you need to have the wind direction properly set during your starting sequence. This is a natural part of the process if you're using the watch to go sailboat racing because the watch will prompt you several times during the starting sequence to set the wind direction. The wind direction doesn't need to be that accurate, but you also have to make sure the watch knows you're racing. In order for that to happen, you need to complete a starting sequence. Basically, you have to set a start time and let the watch count down as if you're starting the race. Once it reaches zero, the watch will know that you're racing. If the app doesn't think you're racing, it has no idea where the mark should be since you're probably not sailing directly upwind to your mark. So, assuming you've followed everything, you're racing, the wind is set, Every time you round a windward or leeward mark, a new mark will be automatically generated in the list. They will be numbered WM001 for windward mark 1 or LM followed by a number for leeward marks. Okay, so now we've learned how to manually drop the marks or how to let the app automatically create them if you are racing and have set the wind direction in the app. If you know your marks in advance, you can upload permanent marks to the watch app. There are two different ways to get these permanent marks in a form that your watch will understand. One way is to go into your race cues journal and export marks from a previous race. The other way is just any GPX file. And this is for GPX file users that maybe create their marks in some other sort of software or on their handheld GPS. So let me walk you through exporting and uploading marks off of a previous race cues course. Open a race cues replay and create your marks in the race cues course setup. Or you can use marks you have already created in another race. Once you see all the marks that you want to use, use the export marks to GPX file option and make sure to note the location that you save it to on your computer. Next, go back into your race cues journal page on the computer. Click on this drop down arrow symbol next to your name and select my marks. Follow the instructions on the screen to upload the marks using the file you've created earlier. 
Now the marks file is in your RaceQ's account, but you need to be logged into your account in order for those to get to your watch. So go to your phone and find the RaceQ's app inside the Pebble Time phone app. Go to settings and log in to RaceQ's. Just as always, if you have a RaceQ's email and password that you use to log in, use that. Or if you've always logged in with Facebook, just click the log in with Facebook option. Once you're successfully logged in, your marks will appear in your watch app. For all of our racers in the United States, I want you to know that all government marks are in the race queues replay system. If the race committee publishes the mark locations before the race, simply open any replay and navigate to the geographic location. You'll see the permanent marks in this area as a small red dot. That's just a placeholder for the mark position. Then you need to zoom in and drop a race course mark from race queues on top of the placeholder so that it's added to your marks list. Then you can export it like we talked about before. If you're someone that is familiar with GPX files, then you can use your own tool to create a GPX file of the marks as waypoint WPT entries. Examine a sample uploaded from race queues to work out the required attributes. Once you have your GPX file, follow the instructions that I just gave for using the race queues My Marks option on your journal page to upload the GPX file. You will stay logged into the Watch app, and anytime you upload a new Marks file here, that file will be the marks listed on your watch. One more tip. You can have as many marks in here as you want, but they're not going to do anything unless you pick one to navigate to. The app is pretty smart, but it's not going to try to guess where you're going. We thought we'd leave something for you to do after all. Give the marks and navigation a try, and please let us know if you feel that we can make any improvements to this beta software by using the RaceQ's beta Pebble testing page on Facebook, using the RaceQ's Pebble beta discussion pages on the RaceQ's forum, or by emailing us at support at racequeues.com. <laughs>